welcome to Fab TV. Hi, thank you so much. I'm so excited to be here with you guys. Cool. So I thought of something the other day. What if all the Bettys got together for a reunion? <gasps> that would be amazing. I would totally love to meet all of them, all the actresses that we get the chance to do this amazing character with this amazing story. It would be legendary. <laughs> <laughs> um, where were you and what were you thinking when you got the call that you got the part? It was awesome. I was moving out of my parents' house back in Mexico City to La Roma. That's like a beautiful neighborhood back in Mexico City. And I was with the person who was giving me the keys. So right in the second where these guys are like, here, your keys, my phone like started ringing. When I say hi, they didn't even say hi, how you doing? Can I talk to Elifer Torres or something? They just said, you are the new Betty. I don't know if they said it that way because they wanted me to feel special or to feel like to be a special moment. Of course it was. And I was like, what? Yes, you are Betty. <laughs> shocked i started crying i hugged the man in front of me he he was like is this crazy person gonna live in my apartment but i was super excited i couldn't hold my tears i started crying and screaming and i went out of course i called my mom that second like mom guess what i got the role and she was super excited too i couldn't believe it and in that second i knew i had to cancel <laughs> the apartment because i was about to move to miami and that's what happened that what happened a month after that so i lived in that apartment just for a month but it was an, an amazing experience and i would say that was one of the most amazing moments of my life till now one thing that i have to say about betty lafay or betty in new york is that you know it's really about a girl that's a really a, a pretty girl on her knees Everyone thinks she's ugly, but there's a pretty girl underneath every girl. Does this does this show kind of motivate or give women the power to like they can make pretty themselves up? Yes, I don't think it's about pretty in a superficial way. I think it's about pretty in a human way. How in a human way? Because I think we all. I oh, I always say this, and I love to say it because we all have been Betty at least once in our lives. So the thing is about. Mm, being comfort confident and comfortable in your own skin and with who you are and and don't let anybody tell you what you should be and let yourself decide what you're gonna be so when Betty is you know when she's she used to be insecure and wear this big clothing and everything just to cover herself because she's scared of people might hurt her so when she started to realize that she don't have to be whatever they told her to she can be whatever she wants because she's smart enough and in a world specifically right now we don't need to be just we can be accepted just as who we are and how we look right now is the look or where you're from or your gender those things should not matter and betty realizes that and that's why she decided to make a change for good and then she's this amazing women powerful smart that we are seeing lately on tv after the transformation so i believe the most amazing transformation of betty is not about like physical or superficial it's inside her and she realizes something that it means the world to every human i guess i i believe so so yeah okay so there's betty la fea ugly betty and all the different versions of of, of betty what version of yourself are you using to bring out this Betty? Uh, I, when I first knew I was about to do Betty, I decided to not watch any of the other versions. So I really cannot tell you like, oh, this is my favorite one or, or I copied this from this other version because I didn't watch any because I wanted to bring something new to the table, something authentic and something that came from my imagination and and what the story itself is giving me because it's an amazing story it's super well written and i think that's why the success is always doesn't matter who who produces it or whatever it's always a hit because the story is so well written that it works and so yeah i wanted to give it something new something fresh and this innocent thing i decided to put it in because i think it's a thing that we should never lose like this child innocent thing and make fun of yourself and laugh about life and so i would not I, I cannot tell you like who did i copy or not copy but like simulate 
or similar it or something because I didn't watch any version, which is a good thing, I guess. Yeah, I agree. Why should people watch Betty New York after seeing all the different versions? Because this one is a whole new version in a whole new story. You might think, oh, come on, they did this like three or four times. They actually did 20 times in different languages, different parts of the world. But this one is different because first, it, it happens in New York and it explores this multiculturally, multi, multiculturalidad. How can I say that in... We speak Spanish on Fab TV. So. Yeah, well, multiculturalidad and diversity of Hispanic people in the U.S. We have people from Puerto Rico, Colombia, Mexico, and Argentina, and Venezuela. Like, how, how can you... Como es, right now, in the States. Everyone is from everywhere, specifically in New York. So we wanted to explore that. Also, the fashion industry, it started to change. So when Betty gets into Vietnam, she changed everything. Also, mm, the age. Like 20 years ago, we didn't have phones and technology and even memes. You know, all of that changed the way we bully people. <laughs> so Betty is bullied in different ways. And also the H&R rules of a big ass company and all of that. I think that's why it's so different. And in the age of Betty, she's way younger than the other versions. And I think that's what you can find in this new version. That was a perfect answer. Thank you. It was really good talking to you. So we Thank look forward you. to seeing more of Betty in New York. Season two, correct? I'm not sure. I, I cannot decide about it. If I would do it, I, I would totally love to have a season two. Okay. But I don't know. That's not my decision. The okay. network has to check. There's a lot of fans asking for it. So who knows? Yeah. It will. You heard it here first on Fab TV. Season two coming up. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for so much for having me. And yeah, follow me at Elifer Torres if you want. <laughs>